Welcome to the project. In this project, we are going to set up a web application stack. The name of the project is vProfile Project Setup Local. Let's understand about this project. In this project, we will be setting a multi tier web application stack. The setup will be locally on your laptop or on your desktop. There are two reasons why we are doing this project. The first reason is this project is going to set up a baseline for our upcoming projects. We're going to do a lot of projects like we're going to deploy our stack on AWS. We're going to refactor it. We're going to containerize our applications. We're going to deploy the projects on Kubernetes cluster and many more things. To do all the upcoming projects, you need to understand we profile project first and for that we are doing a setup on your on our local machine. The second reason of doing this project is so you can set up your own lab locally. If you have any project, you're working in any project, you can set up that entire stack locally and do all your R&D. Let's take a scenario from your real time experience. Let's say you're working in a project and in your project, you have varieties of services that you deal with. You may be having services like database services, MySQL, PostgreSQL, web services, Apache, Nginx, application services, maybe like Tomcat, JBoss, Glassfish, or any other stack like that. And uh, you may also have a runbook or a setup document to set up your project stack. Let's talk about some problems. You may not be comfortable in making changes in the real servers. You have the setup document, you have the runbook, but still we lack in confidence in making changes in the real systems. So you would like to set up a local stack. You would like to set up all that stack on your local machine probably by using virtual machines. So you can do that, but the local setup is complex. It's time consuming and it's not repeatable. So we would love to set up the stack locally by using virtual machines. So we can do R and D and gain some confidence on our project. But since the setup of multiple services is complex, it's time consuming. And moreover, we can't do it again and again. It's not repeatable if we do it manually. So we avoid this setup. So solutions to our problem. What we can do is we can have a local setup. Yes, but it would be automated. It would be repeatable because we're going to have infrastructure as a code. So if we have a code to set up the entire stack locally, we can do it as many as time. It's going to be repeatable. It's completely automated process. So you can do as much as R and D you want on your local machine. All right. Now let's see what are the tools that we will need to set up this stack. So starting with, we will need a hypervisor Oracle VM virtual box we are going to use on which we are going to set up virtual machine. But since this, can, this is going to be automated. So for automation, we are going to use vagrant and we need to execute some commands, not some many commands. So we'll be using a command line tool, git bash, which will be multipurpose for executing commands and also for version control. We can also use an IDE. So you can use sublime text or if you have any preference of using notepad plus plus visual studio or anything else that also you can use. You must have installed all these tools already from the prerequisites video. Let's understand the objective of this once again. We're going to learn VM automation locally. This project is going to set up a baseline for upcoming projects 
and we will also learn how to set up many real world projects on our local machine automatically. So we can do as much as R&D we want. Now we'll see the architectural design of various services in our project. We have Nginx, Tomcat, RabbitMQ, Memcached and MySQL service. So we'll see the architectural design. We'll also see one more architectural design of our automated setup. We will have a Vagrant, VirtualBox, Git Bash, and also some scripts and commands. Architectural design. After setting up our stack, user can access our services from browser by entering IP address or an endpoint. The user will be redirected to load balancer. So we're going to set up Nginx service which will act like a load balancer. Nginx service is then going to forward the request to application server. Apache Tomcat will be our application server where our Java application will be running. We can even have a shared storage by using NFS. Application server is then going to forward the request to RabbitMQ which will be our message broker and that will send the request to memcache for database caching. Memcached is gonna cache the SQL queries for which was executed for the MySQL server. So we have Nginx, Apache Tomcat, RabbitMQ, Memcached service and MySQL service. Now I recommend you pause the video and watch the architectural design once again. Another design we have is for our automation stack. We will be using a Vagrant to automate, automatically set up our virtual machine. So Vagrant is going to communicate with Oracle VM virtual box, which is the hypervisor and create automatically virtual machines on that. Then we'll be using some bash scripts or bash commands to set up our services. Nginx, Apache Tomcat, Memcached, RabbitMQ, MySQL. So we will automatically create virtual machines from Vagrant, virtual machine for Nginx, Apache Tomcat, Memcached, RabbitMQ and MySQL. Okay, finally let's understand the flow of execution. First, we are going to set up all our tools from the prerequisite videos. If you have all this set up already, then you can clone the source code which will be seen in the project. We're going to cd into a Vagrant directory in the source code. There will be a Vagrant file. We'll bring up our VMs automatically from that Vagrant file. We'll validate all our virtual machines if they're up and running and able to interact with each other. Then we're going to start setting up all our services one by one. First MySQL, then Memcached, then RabbitMQ, then Tomcat, and finally Nginx. And of course, we're gonna build our application, our Java application and deploy it. Then we're gonna finally verify all this from our browser.